peace this is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself the water alchemist and today i would like to talk to you about the fundamentals of candle magic so this is for anyone that's new to witchcraft but it may be able to help adepts as well i would like to talk about candle magic because it is one of the most effective and one of the oldest forms of magic and it's not very difficult to do so let's have an introduction to some of the candles and their colors and what they can do for you depending on your rituals first white is the color of truth and clarity and can be used for workings with the necronomicon if you use two seven day candles let this be said and let it be noted that once you use two white candles for any dealings with the Sumerian deities, they can only be used for doing Sumerian magic. I want to make that clear. And again, white is the color of truth and clarity. Another color that we can deal with is yellow. Yellow is for psychic awareness and one's intuition, but also can be used for love magic. Particularly if you're working with Urzuli. All you have to do is take a bag, put some honey in it with your request, and tie a yellow ribbon around a tree. And Urzuli should be able to answer your petition. Let's move on to pink. Pink is for love and for unity within a relationship. And it's also the color that Aphrodite is fond of. Red deals with sexual passion, energy, aggression, aggression, excuse me, and Mars energy. So that's very good if you want to work with Mars or you just want to be able to raise your level of courage. And you also can use the color red when you're trying to deal with um, Leo if you're doing rituals when the moon is waxing green is for abundance and money the color green the color brown is for balancing your chakras and grounding and one color i cannot stress enough if you're dealing with magic i really want to stress always keep a black candle in your house Black is good for protection, banishing, and warding off negativity. So we have those candles. Let's move on to purple. Purple is for protection as well, but also for the acquisition of power. And it's also the color that is favored by Lucifer. Blue is for tranquility and peace in one's home settings silver is a color that one can use when they want to have some form of neutrality and balance as well and some quick tips when you're doing your magic let's talk about smoke if it emits a black smoke usually this means that somebody is using baneful magic on you or the ancestors are trying to get that negativity out of your surrounding areas. If it emits a white smoke, that means that more times out of 10, your requests will be granted. If the flame is flickering and popping, that means that a spirit is trying to communicate with you. If it's swaying back and forth, that means that your spirit guides or certain energies on the other side are really deciding which best course to take with your request. And they're having a vigorous discussion or an argument. So that is your fundamentals and the foundation of candle magic. This is a meat and potato sorcery production. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friend. Peace.